Hi everyone, my name is Celeste. In this video, I wanted to share a look inside the Uncle Sam and You Civics course. This is a new curriculum for us. If you've watched our curriculum choices videos, you know that our family really enjoys the mystery of history. We've used it for a couple years, but this year we wanted to take a break um, from world history to be able to do some US civics, specifically for our oldest son who's in eighth grade. This year we are homeschooling our three boys, which are in eighth grade, sixth grade, and fourth grade, and this is our fourth year of homeschooling. This curriculum is designed for fifth to eighth graders but in our case as I mentioned we have three boys our youngest being in fourth grade and we wanted to also have him participate in this course so as I'm showing you this curriculum I'm going to show you the things that I'm doing to adjust it so that he's also able to join us history is a subject that we really enjoy doing together being able to find a curriculum and maybe adjusting it for the younger children is a great way to be able to keep the family all together for this family subject there are five components to this course. The first are the textbooks. So there are two textbooks. There is the part one and then there is also the part two. So if the course is split into these two textbooks, then you also have the second component, which is the citizen's handbook. So this is a citizen's handbook. The third component is an optional student workbook component. So there are two student workbooks, a blue book and a red book that you can choose to use for your students. Fourth component is the answer key for the teacher. And the final component is an optional literature component for the older students. There are 120 lessons with an additional 30 holiday lessons that you can choose to add in. So the whole course has between 120 to 150 lessons, depending how you decide to use those holiday courses. These 150 lessons are split into 30 units. Our family has really enjoyed using this so far. We are currently just wrapping up the unit six. I wanted to use it for a little while before showing a look so that I could provide you a little more insight as far as our personal experience thus far with the curriculum. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you a look inside the Uncle Sam and You curriculum. So these are the different elements of the course that we talked about. First, we have the two textbooks. Then we will take a look at the Civics and Action Citizens Handbook, also the workbooks, and then lastly, the answer key. So these are the two textbooks that you will need for the course. You have part one, which has the first 15 units of the course, and then part two, which has the second 15 units. So when you open up a book, it has the overview then once you get into it, it also has the table of contents. Just want to go over what the different units are in this part one. So unit one is we the people. Unit two is America's founding documents. Unit three is how America works. Unit four is patriotic symbols and American ideals. Unit five is American leaders. Unit six, voting in America. Unit seven, political parties and their candidates. Unit 8 is from the convention to election day. Unit 9, the voters speak. Unit 10, Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. Unit 11, the presidency part 1. Unit 12, the presidency part 2. Unit 13, the U.S. Congress. Unit 14 is the U.S. Congress part 2. And then the last unit that's in this book is unit 15, which is America relates to the world. Then there's a listing of all the American holiday lessons that are in this course. As I mentioned, there are 30 American holiday lessons. There are 15 in the part one and there are 15 in the part two. And you can choose how you would like to incorporate them. Um, you don't have to do them all. You don't have to do any. You can just choose a few and I'll show you kind of how they incorporate it into the course. I wanted to show you a unit within this part one, um, and we're gonna look at unit three. Unit three is how America works. Every unit has four lessons, and then one choose an American holiday lesson. So the way that it's structured is that you have the four lessons to read through with your students, do the activities, and that fifth lesson is optional. If you would like to choose one of the American holidays, you can do one of those lessons, or if you prefer, you can skip it, so you decide. Um, so that's why I mentioned in the beginning that how many lessons are in the book will depend on how many of these American holiday lessons you do. But just to show you a couple of these lessons, so this is lesson 11, it's government on three levels to give you a sense of how long the lessons are and how they're laid out. So what I do is I read this aloud to the boys. Um, there are a lot of great charts that they also include that helps um, kind of you know connect, especially if you have any visual learners. 
So we talk about the state level. So that's pretty much the length of a lesson typically. At the end of every lesson, we also include a Bible verse that kind of connects to the content shared or the focus of that particular lesson. At the end of every lesson, there are lesson activities and they vary, but this is very much pretty much how they are. So there, in this case, thinking biblically, it says discuss with a parent why do you think God created government. Creative writing in your notebook, write a short story of two or three paragraphs. Find out what is your local sales tax rate. Picture this, take a photograph or draw a picture of a local government building or vehicle. And then there's also the student workbook and lesson review if you have chosen to use those additional books. Um, so this is great because you're able to choose how many you would like your children um, or your students to do. So we decided that our oldest son, our eighth grader, does three activities are this includes his lesson review so his lesson review plus two of these our sixth grader will do the lesson review plus one of these and then our fourth grader we just have him choose one of these activities and many times that ends up being the picture this so he's able to just draw um, and he really enjoys that so that's a tip for if you're using this with younger students you do have these activities that you're able to kind of adjust or tailor for your younger students so he really has enjoyed that for our fourth grader, we have also added in two Dover coloring books that are not part of this curriculum, but then he, every single day as I'm reading the lesson, he's able to color. The next lesson after that is government in three branches. So it talks about the legislative, executive, and judicial branches of government, how they work together. And here are the lesson activities for this lesson. After the lessons in the book, you have the section for American holidays. So this is the list of all of the American holidays that's in this part one book. And there are 15 more also in the part two. For example, this is the Independence Day lesson. So if you choose to do this lesson, you would read this lesson to your students. And then at the end of the lesson, there is always a family activity. In this case, it's a Make a Happy Birthday America poster. It says instructions are on page 486. So again, these are all the lessons for each one of the holidays. And then at the end are the family activities. So that's this section. That's what it referenced. So for that 4th of July lesson that we just looked at, this would be... Happy Birthday America poster activity. So it says all the supplies you need, the instructions. And then I'll just do a quick flip through of the rest of these family activities. Taking a look at part two of this course, which is the second half of the year, if you open up, um, it starts on unit 16, and the units in this particular book are the United States military, the state government, local government, Native American tribal government, homeland security, hometown security, the American justice system, making money, using the resources God created, technology and communication, getting from here to there, helping people in need, Education and the Arts, Destination USA, and then the final unit is Citizens Serving One Another. And again, there is the listing of 15 additional American holiday um, lessons that you can decide to do. To take a look at one of the units in this book, we'll take a look at Unit 25, which is Technology and Communications. Again, it has the four lessons and then that additional Choose an American Holiday option if you would like. So again, here's another look at what a lesson looks like. Are the lesson activities. After the lessons in this book, there is also the section for American holidays. And this is the listing of the American holidays in this part two. The very end is the family activity, which is create a what are you doing for others poster. Instructions are on page 1006. So when you go back to the section of family activities, you'll be able to find the instructions for that particular um, project. And again, I'm just going to do a quick flip through of the remaining family activities in the book. The 
very end of the, of the book two, there is a chart that has all of the states and capitals. It also has a date they were admitted into the union as well as the order of admission. This is the Citizen's Handbook Civics in Action. And you'll notice at the end of some of the lessons, some of the activities under literature had reading selections from this book. What we have decided to do is to have just our eighth grader complete the literature. Um, so he's the only one that is currently reading from this book. Although sometimes our sixth grader, if he'd like to, he's always free to grab it and look through it and read it. But as far as assigning it, we are currently only assigning it to our eighth grader. This page is great because it kind of explains the different types of documents that you can find inside this book. So there's journals, memoirs, biographies, there are poems, there are documents, songs, newspapers, magazine articles, letters, virtue stories, and speeches. The optional component of this course that I mentioned are the student workbooks. There are two workbooks that you can choose from if you'd like to use these. There is the blue book, which is the student workbook, which is um, they recommend for fifth and sixth graders. Then there is the lesson review book, which is the red book, which they recommend for seventh and eighth graders. But honestly, I think depending on your child's style of learning and which kind of format they connect better with, you can choose which of these books would be better for them. Taking a look inside the blue book, which is a student workbook, which is meant more for the fifth and sixth grade level, here's an idea of some of the activities that they have. So what you'll notice, it's a lot more um, activities like puzzles, crossword, word searches. So if your child is more visual or likes more that type of activity, this book I think is great. It's a nice variety of different activities for them to do. At the very end of the workbook for this level, really where the tests are, but I actually ripped them out um, because I actually didn't really like the tests being in the workbook. Like I like to have the tests separately. So that's kind of one of the cons, I guess I would say. Another thing that I didn't really like or I don't like so much is that the tests are double-sided. So basically I give my child this, for example, unit seven test, and then I have to kind of save it so I can give them the eighth you know, unit eight one next, so which instead of just being able to file it away. Um, just another thing, again, it might work well for you, and, and again, we're making it work, but I did want to let you know of that um, regards to the tests. This is the lesson review or the red book, which is meant for the seventh and eighth graders. You could notice that it's different. So all of the activities are pretty much question answer. So it's fill in the blank or answering different questions, and that is the structure that you will find for this kind of across the board. One additional component of the lesson review book are the questions for the literature. So I'm gonna take a minute just to talk about the additional literature component that is included in this course. So if you would like your seventh and eighth grader, or even your younger child if you would like, but they, they kind of design it more for seventh and eighth grade, to be able to do the additional literature component, you can read a selection of books that they have chosen and they do sell it as a group we actually chose to just kind of find them and the majority of these books we were able to find at our local library so we're just going to be checking them out as we go along so that's kind of a way to save a little bit of money also had a couple of the books here in our home library so that made it a little easier in the course book so in the lessons it'll actually assign your child when to read each chapter so at the end of every lesson when they have the activities they'll be able to see when exactly to read the different chapters of the book but at the very end of every book there are questions that are provided so this is the end of the letter to mrs roosevelt book and they have five questions for their your student to um, complete there are also additional resources that are free online. If you'd like to print them separately from the book, you can go ahead and print them as well, which is kind of what I did. Because these are the same questions here that you'll find in the book here, but I just printed it. Be sure to link that additional resources link below. You can choose to download it and print it for free. But what I decided to do is to take the fifth question of every single one of these literature uh, review questions and make it an essay. So for my son's literature grade, what he is going to do is answer the first four questions, but the fifth one, he is going to complete a five paragraph essay. You don't have to do that. It's something that we kind of had decided to do, but this is great because it's a starting point and you don't have to worry about an additional literature curriculum. Instead, you can do it this way. And again, in our case, it's been completely free because we've been able to get our books at our local library. At the end of this lesson review are also the tests, just like in the 
student workbook. Again, I've ripped those out as well. And again, they are different. So these tests are a little bit more challenging. They are a little bit different than the fifth and sixth grade level tests. So again, they are also double-sided. The last thing I wanted to show you is the answer key. It's kind of funny to think for all of those books, this is a really tiny answer key, but really it's all that you need. Um, it's worked really well for us. So what's included in here, when you open it up, the first section are the answers for the blue book, for the student workbook. So here you'll see are the answers for every lesson. And then you also have the answers for the tests. So again, all of the answers for their lesson activities and answers for the test. And that continues. The next section are the answers for the red book. So regardless of which workbook your child uses, you only need this one answer key. So in our case that we have multiple children, that's worked very well. And again, in this case, you have the lessons, um, you have the tests, but you also have the additional literature questions. So I just talked about that literature component. Your answer key for that is all in here as well. So you just need this one book and that will cover your answers for the entire course. Okay, so that is a look inside the Uncle Sam and You Civics course. Again, we are currently wrapping up Unit 6 and we are enjoying it thus far. Yet later on, if you'd like to know my thoughts on it at the end of the school year, please comment below. I know to provide that feedback at the end of the school year. I'll also link the videos to the Mystery of History review that I've done also. We have done Volume 1 and Volume 4 in case you're interested in checking out those videos. I pray that you and your family are well. I pray you're blessed. I hope you are having a wonderful homeschool week and I look forward to talking to you soon.